<laughs> Man, the rich get richer. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about the big um, breaking news today. The, the, uh, the Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams have signed Bobby Wagner from the Seattle Seahawks to a five-year, $50 million deal that I think could go up to $65 million with incentives. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. may not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your bar. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Wow. <laughs> um, I thought it was kind of funny that Bobby Wagner didn't get signed yet. Um, But I knew he was somebody that obviously was, was going to be very um targeted, targeted very heavily. Um, And lo and behold, man, the Rams get him for like a five-year, $50 million deal. Now, I didn't think he would get a five-year deal nowhere. I was thinking maybe a one, maybe two-year deal. But um, you know, when teams feel like they've that piece away, they're gonna pay a little a little more money and give a little extra years. Like for example, the ball, the Buffalo Bills giving Von Miller a six year deal. Um, look, this makes the Rams just absolutely more dangerous. <laughs> Cause now you're talking about great Hall of Fame players on all three levels of your defense. You already got Aaron Donald, who you got to deal with on the defensive line. You already had Jalen Ramsey, who you had to deal with in the secondary. Now you got a guy like Bobby Wagner, who could, who is, who is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, um, just running around in the middle of the defense. I mean, that's scary. <laughs> like, and then offensively, you know, you already got Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford and company. Allen Robinson is now there now. Um, a health, a more healthier Cam Akers. You know, they're in prime position to make another run at a Super Bowl. Uh, and then when you look at the NFC where, you know, Green Bay lost Devontae Adams, um, you know, Tampa Bay is, is pretty much back intact, but still the Rams beat them last year. Uh, you know, and now we got to see what happens with the draft, who gets better with the draft and all that. But at the same time, man, I mean, this is this is dangerous for the Rams. Um, Bobby Wagner was, you know, he was born in, in Los Angeles also. So it's pretty much a coming home party for him. Um, yeah, man, I, I just feel like that's a tremendous addition for the Los Angeles Rams, yo. Um, as an Eagles fan, I'm happy because as far as he was showing real interest in the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm glad that they didn't get him, of course. I rather him with the Rams than with the Cowboys. But, um, yeah, just from a football perspective, I mean, unless, you know, it health gets in the way, uh, I don't see this. I see this as a real, real a great addition for the Rams. Um, imagine him roaming around behind Aaron Donald. Like, you know, that's just – and then you got Jalen Ramsey on the back end pretty much locking up receivers. That's a very, very scary, you know, um, combination there. And for the Rams, man, you know, they just paid Matthew Stafford, who won him a Super Bowl. Um, like I said, you still got Cooper Cup over there who was the, the Super Bowl MVP and was the best receiver in football all year long. Um, yeah, man, they did lose Andrew Whitworth on the offensive line, though he was an older player, um, you know, but we're going to see, man. I think the Rams are obviously in position to make another real, real run um, at winning the Super Bowl. And then you look at the division, obviously Seattle is in complete rebuild mode. Uh, the 49ers, you know, who they had to beat to get to get to the Super Bowl, um, they don't know who their quarterback going to be. Um, they don't know if it's the J going to try to roll with Jimmy G again. And if they do get rid of Jimmy G, which a lot of people are expecting, is Trey Lance, uh, as young as he is, ready to step in and be very productive? Um, the Arizona Cardinals have a lot of talent, but, you know, they have a coaching issue, um, you know, with Cliff Kingsbury. And, and, and then there's talks about Kyler Murray not being the greatest leader already. So they may have a little bit of issues going on over there. So the Rams, man, to me, are in prime position and set up to make another real, real Super Bowl run. I think it's just an absolute great addition of them getting Bobby Wagner. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.